Did you know that in the new update, you can switch your builder base scenery? This is one of the biggest changes that came with the new update that Clash of Clans didn't even tell us about. So I scoured the game looking for secret cosmetics changes that came with the latest update. And while we're in the builder base, the armored machine has a new attack animation. He used to spin completely around, but now he simply swings his hammer over his head and hits the building instead of the spinning motion, which he used to do, which I really loved. So I'm disappointed that they got rid of that animation, but I know a lot of people really prefer this one more than the old one. Oh, I'm trying to spell something over here with my grass. First person to comment and guess the correct word that I'm trying to spell is gonna get their comment pinned. The other change I didn't notice until a couple days after the update was the skin preview on your profile. The background has been completely changed and now these skins that are standing here actually are doing a slightly different pose animation than they used to. They used to do the pose animation immediately after after they have finished their selection animation, which is basically this animation right here. But now this idle animation is actually the idle animation that we normally just see from the top view right after they finish their pose animation. So this right here is what we're seeing, but instead we're seeing it from the front view. This has also been changed in the cosmetics tab of the shop. All the skins are doing the idle animation that we normally just see from the top view, except the Beat King for some reason, and also the Pirate Queen. For some reason, those two skins do their actual selection or pose animation, and then they go into their idle animation. You probably heard about the change that when you're buying a scenery in the shop, you can see a full preview as if you actually own the scenery, but now you can also see that same thing in the change scenery menu. If you don't have one of these sceneries, say for Town Hall 15 or 14, you click the eye icon and you can see the entire scenery as if it was your own. With the new skin improvements, a a lot of the Archer Queen's eyes have been changed and some, well, I should say, most people are not happy with it. A lot of them now have these really big, weird looking eyes. I call them Disney eyes because Disney characters have really big eyes. But the thing about these ones is they don't even look good like Disney character eyes. They just look really weird. So the Ice Queen, the Autumn Queen, the Gladiator Queen, the Pirate Queen, the Valkyrie Queen, the Warrior Queen, and the Minor Queen has a minor adjustment to her eyes. The only King skin that really got messed up was the Prime Primal King, you can see here the before and after, and they just totally ruined his eyes. I don't know what happened, but they definitely need to fix this one. The Beast King and the Spooky Queen have some dark circles around their eyes. I don't know if this was intentional or if this was just the result of the new lighting changes that came with the update. The Pekka King and the Gladiator King have all new animations and sound effects. This is exciting because these were the first two skins ever released in Clash of Clans, and now they finally gotten a rework that they deserve. The Clockwork King has a welcome change. You can see his selection animation has been slightly altered. I can't say if this is better or worse. I kind of like him exactly the same. I desperately hope that this one is a bug. They totally ruined the Warden of the North's pose animation. Watch when he jumps in the air. He just is so stiff. He used to bend his legs and it would look somewhat natural when he would jump. But I don't, again, I don't know if this is a bug, but I really, really hope that they fix this. There's also that slight glitch with this staff. This just needs to be fixed. This is one of my favorite animations. Before the update, the Barbarian King selection and pose sound effects were switched, but now they fixed it so that his pose animation has the correct sound effects paired with it, and his selection animation also has the correct sound effects. The Grand Warden doesn't have a new model, but he has all new animations and sound effects. This is such a great change. It kind of made me realize how outdated some of his animations and sound effects were, and I feel like now he fits the modern theme of the other hero skins. Some of the textures on the default queen skin have been changed from gold to black, like her wristbands and her quiver. Those 
used to be gold and let me know if you like the black color more than the gold color i think the gold matched her crown better but now this kind of matches her bow better the rogue king has a slight change to his selection animation when he sticks his sword in the ground and then goes to lean on it it takes him just a little bit longer to get his arm up and set on the sword i don't know why they decided to slightly alter that but it did change now this one i can't tell if it's the lighting or if they actually changed the texture but the metallic elements on the warrior king all look so much more rounded than it used to. It used to have pretty sharp edges, but now things like his sword almost look like it's a balloon just because of how smooth and round it is. Personally, I don't think this was a great change. This is a very small change that I only noticed by playing this skin in slow motion. When the Gladiator's King cloud comes in from the side, it spins more than it used to. Now it spins like almost like 360 degrees when it comes in. The goblin that the Jungle Warden is holding used to be totally green and now he's wearing some black clothes. I'm so happy about this change. The old Painter Warden had an opaque canister that he kept his paint in, but as we can see from the HD render, he actually has a clear canister in his design. So with this new update, I'm so glad that they changed it to actually be clear so that we can see the paint inside. Another small change, which I don't understand why they made, is the party warden is now looking slightly to the right. When the Shadow Queen falls down from the ground after jumping, her hat used to fly way off her head and you could see a big hole in the top of her hat. Now the animation has been slightly changed so that the hat doesn't fly off her head and the hole is less noticeable. The Jolly Warden seems to have a slight change to his attack. Now he seems to swing like really fast. I don't know why he swings the sword so much faster now. I don't know if this is a bug or if this is an actual legitimate change. Some other skins have attack changes and this one is kind of weird because when they hit the wall or whatever they're hitting, it takes like half a second at least for the damage indication to show up. I just don't like how this is timed now. This is also true of the Gladiator King and the Champion King. The sleeping position for most, if not all of the skins has been altered. They've been moved to the right and down a little bit. I've said this a lot, but I really don't know why they would have made this change. I'm not 100% sure if this change was made in this update, but now the Prima Warden's knockout is slightly different as far as his book and his staff are concerned, I feel like they used to be with him somehow, like holding him or on the ground right next to him, but now they're off to the side and kind of linked with his swaying animation. There are 80 plus skins and I don't have records of every single animation and effect. There might have been more changes, I just can't say for sure. But what I know for sure is that you're gonna wanna watch this video if you haven't seen it of the before and after for every single skin improvement that came with the update.